This is the moment a missile struck at the heart of Ukraine's second city. This morning, Kharkiv's Freedom Square is a smouldering ruin on the front line of Putin's war. This strike on an administrative building marks the start of a second day of bombardment for this city. Yesterday, Russian artillery attacked residential areas using what appeared to be cluster bombs, which are banned by many countries. Overnight, this bomb shelter was turned into a makeshift maternity ward full of babies who don't yet know that they've been born into the middle of a bloody war. Speaking late last night, Ukraine's President Zelensky accused Russia of war crimes against his people. He said they're evil, armed with missiles, bombs and artillery. They must be stopped immediately and destroyed economically. To show that humanity is able to defend itself, it's necessary to consider a complete closure of the sky for Russian missiles, aircraft and helicopters. On the ground, Russian troops continue their slow advance towards Kyiv. These satellite images show a convoy of tanks and other armoured vehicles thought to be 40 miles long. To the northeast of the city, this was the aftermath of an airstrike on a military base. The UK government believes bombing at night is another tactic being used by Putin to try and reduce his losses. What Putin will now try and do is wrest back control and therefore we need to continue to put the pressure on Putin through sanctions but also continue to steal the courageous defence and resilience of the Ukrainian forces. In the past hour, the Prime Minister has arrived in Poland to meet his European allies. It is the latest diplomatic push to try and stop the crisis in Ukraine. Chloe Keedy, ITV News.